but the performance must be pleasing for you. Definitely, I think you obviously the um, the work that went in on Saturday, and, and we were disappointed without without any question. Um, you come into Luton uh, against against a team that uh, are obviously potentially top four um, playoffs, one of the contenders against us, um, and I think we dominated the game. Uh, definitely better side um, over the 90 minutes, and, um, and possibly unlucky to, to get the three points. Never a clear cut chance in the game. Was that because was that just because Luton, shall we say, out muscled you at the back, or was it just one of those games where it was going to get bogged down in the midfield and both sides cancelled each other out? No, I think it's kind of a little bit unfair. Okay, we, we didn't have any clear cut opportunities. Um, we've just mentioned it in the, in the dressing room about uh, maybe not having the rubber green. You know, sometimes when we get a little bit of a bounce or kind of that little flick goes to, to somebody who's uh, one of our players as opposed to one of theirs, and, um, and we've had. We've put the ball in the box numerous times tonight, uh, whether it be from throw-ins or, or, or set pieces or, or even open play. Um, I think we've had a chance. We haven't quite had that rub of the green that maybe it might drop to somebody. On, like on other days, it made it. Realistically, though, is a point enough from this game tonight? I think a point. You'll take, you'll take a point, um, especially with the performance. If, you, if we hadn't had the performance, you turn around and go, well, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe not. But you've got the performance, and that gives you the impetus. Uh, having played against a good loot in time to go on to Saturday and, and, and make sure we uh, we're positive for the running. Man of the match, Louis Briscoe, he, he, he ran rings around his opposite man on, on that right flank. Yeah, Louis, we all know what Louis can do. You look at what he did at the start of the season, you look at uh, what he's done on a couple of occasions uh, this year, um, and it shows when Louis's fit and fine, um, you know he's going to be one of the most dangerous wingers in this league. Uh, and today we've got that um, and we're looking for that consistency off him week in, week out. We, we know that he can be um, maybe the best uh, winger in this league uh, and it's important that he, he, he goes on and, uh, and tries to establish himself as one of the best, if not the best. How much of a blow is losing Luke Fossey? He went down very, very heavily. Yes. It looks like it's just ligament damage, that's what I'm being told by yes. the medical staff. In a way that's a silver lining but, yep. but still a massive blow. Yeah, a big blow. Um, Obviously, the, the uh, partnership that uh, Jonah and uh, Fozzie has put together, uh, not in the, the last two, uh, two games, but uh, previous to that, has been positive. And, and, and you look at how they've, they've performed together, and they've got a real understanding. Um, I thought Jonah started the game very well. Unfortunately, he's had, uh, he's had that injury, but on a positive, Bruffy's come in and, uh, and showed the depth in the squad, and, and, and he's uh, equipped himself very well. Part of our commentary team tonight, Mick Saxby, at the end there, there were a few boos coming out from the West End. He labelled that section of the of the support fickle. Would you agree with that? I think it's very, very harsh to, to boo with a performance like that against a team um, a team like Luton. Um, don't quite understand that, but again, everybody's entitled to their own, their own opinions. They pay the money, they, they get their uh, they get their say. Uh, so that's that's um, kind of how we'll look upon that. But uh, as a as a team and as the uh, the remaining fans with uh, who, uh, who probably have seen the game in, in the correct light uh, or at the light that we see it in, um, it's uh, it's a good point and um, and we've uh, we've done, done very well tonight. Onwards and upwards at Salisbury this coming Saturday. Looking at that game, if you perform like you did tonight, you're going to win more games than you lose in the back end of the season, aren't you? Too right, and that's the aim. Uh, we've got to make sure. We're, uh, we've got a league table up in, um, in the uh, dressing room about the, the teams in and around us. But we've got to make sure that we're, from now to the end of the season, we're picking points up on them. Um, every game's a must win, uh, fact, um, and, and we'll be aiming to do that. Obviously, you, you're going to go through different times like uh, Hayden Yedin on Saturday, um, but we we'll hope from now to the end of the, uh, the season that we have a uh, few of those as possible. Thank you, Gareth. Cheers, thank you. Just uh, yeah, we're not too Please defensively then. Yes. What about going forward though? Because you sort of broke them, broke them a couple of times, but just wasted those opportunities really. I mean, Louis yeah. Briscoe's been guilty again, hasn't mm. he? Let's face it. I think, I think Louis. We've just said to, to Louis and, and said to a couple. Uh, he's, he's done very well, Louis, without question. Um, kind of Murray's a very good defender at this level, um, and Louis kind of well. From our opinion, taking torn him to bits and taking him to pieces. So that's a positive from Louis. Um, Louis is under, Louis is under no illusions that at times he's, he's just said to me at the end of the game, he says, "Yeah, I've just got to be a little bit more composed." And that's correct. Uh, and he's a young lad. People people forget this big bustling um, lad, bloke, um, kind of driving and muscling his way past people. Louis's only 20, um, and he's got a lot to learn. 
do you feel a bit of pressure with these home games? You've got so many of them between now and the end of the season, but you really need to be winning more of them uh, than not if you're going to get in that playoff play. So is there an element of, of that going into these home games? I think uh, there's always an element of, of pressure, but that's no, that's no more pressure than we put on ourselves. Um, OK, you might turn around and say that the fans put uh, a little bit of pressure on you, but goodness, we, we want to be uh, playing at home. We want to be playing in front of, um, I suppose, nearly 4,000. Um, I don't know the, the exact attendance, but um, you want to be playing in these games, and, and that's why we're in football. Um, and you put your pressure on yourself uh, to be to be, to achieve because we know what, how much the, the fans think uh, and how much they're desperate to get out of this league, and we put as pressure on um, ourselves to be able to try and do that. And how's Luke Jones just back from suspension, and then goes down, looked horrible really as he was stretched off. Is he all right? Yeah, Luke's uh, he's in the treatment room at the moment. He's uh, he's on the bench. Um, he'll be getting treatment from Jay. It is ankle ligaments, um, so. It, until you, the swelling's gone down, you can't really see the extent of the of the actual injury, unfortunately. So uh, over the next couple of days, we'll, we'll see how, see what that is like. Um, presuming that he'll be going for a scan and, and see the damage, uh, so you get a real clear view. Uh, but that can't happen until the swelling goes down a little bit. So uh, uh, in the next few days, we'll see that. But uh, on a positive, like I've just said, uh, Bruffy stepped into the to the void and uh, and uh, equipped himself very well. Great stuff, thanks, guys. Thank you.